11 you're welcome to solve this nice exponential equation which is 2 to the power of t this is equal to t to the power of 32 so what is the value of t now let's provide a solution from here now we have 2 to the power of t this is equal to t to the power of 32 the first step to do is to eliminate this power here and that means we multiply both signs by 1 over t here we have 1 over t so we simplify t and t here so that we have 2 this is equal to t to the power of that 2 raised to the power of 1 over t now t to the power of that 2 raised to the power of 1 over t this is in the form of a to the power of n raised to the power of m which we can express as a to the power of m raised to the power of n. Applying this exponent property, then we have 2, this is equal to t to the power of 1 over t raised to the power of that 2. Okay, so we have t to the power of 1 over t raised to the power of that 2. This is equal to 2. The next step is to multiply both signs by 1 over that 2. We also have here 2 raised to the power of 1 over that 2. Okay, so we can simplify that 2 and that 2 here so that we have t to the power of 1 over t. This is equal to 2 to the power of 1 over that 2. So we can express this as 2 to the power of 1 times 1 over that 2 whereby 1 is the same thing as 2 over 2 so we have t to the power of 1 over t this is equal to 2 raised to the power of 2 times 1 over 2 times that 2 and this means we have 2 to the power of 2 raised to the power of 1 over that 2 times 2 which is 64 so 2 to the power of 2, this is equal to 4, raised to the power of 1 over 64. So this means that we have t to the power of 1 over t. This is equal to 4 to the power of 1 multiplied by 1 over 64. We can express 1 as 2 over 2. So that now t to the power of 1 over t this is equal to 4 to the power of 2 multiplied by 1 over 2 times 64. So that now we have t to the power of 1 over t. This is equal to 4 squared. This is 4 squared raised to the power of 1 over 64 times 2, which is equal to 128. So here we have t to the power of 1 over t. This is equal to 4 squared, which is equal to 16, raised to the power of 1 over 28. So you can see here we have that the base is the same as the exponent here, but now the base here is not the same as the exponent here. So let's proceed to solve this. So we have 16 raised to the power of 1 multiplied by 1 over 128. We can express 1 as 2 over 2. So that now, here we have 16 raised to the power of 2 multiplied by 1 over 2 times 128. And this implies that t to the power of 1 over t, this is equal to 16 squared multiplied by 1 over 128 times 2, and this is 256. Now, we have t to the power of 1 over t. This is equal to 16 squared. This is 256 raised to the power of 1 over 256. Now, this is interesting to see that the base here is the same as the exponent here. And the base is the same, that is 256 is the same as the 256. So this implies that we have the value of t equal to 
256. We have the value of t as 256. The next step is to verify that this value of t here satisfies the equation. Let's verify. If you recall, we have that 2 to the power of t. This is equal to t to the power of that 2. Let's substitute the value of t so that we have 2 to the power of 256. This should be equal to 256 raised to the power of 32. Now let's check here. We have 2, two raised to the power of 256 to the power of 256. This should be equal to 256 raised to the power of that 2. We can express 256. This is the same thing as 2 to the power of 8. So we have 2 to the power of 8 raised to the power of that 2. And 2 to the power of 8 raised to the power of that 2. This is in the form of 8 to the power of n raised to the power of m, which we can express as 8 to the power of n multiplied by m. So that now, on the left hand side, we have 2 to the power of 256. This should be equal to 2 to the power of 8 multiplied by that 2. So we have that 2 multiplied by 8. 8 times 2, this is 16, carry 1. 8 times 3, this is 24, plus 1, this is 256. So we have 2 to the power of 256. This is equal to 2 to the power of 256. And this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this implies that the value of t which is 256, satisfies the equation. So can you follow the steps? Like this video and kindly subscribe. Like this video and subscribe.